Hi everyone, I recently have the question on how to format the current date into just month and year. So what you can do is come to a variable, uh, create variable, and you could say uh, format date, um, and you could type in format date uh, to get the function. And what you need to do is pass in a date time piece of data, and date time piece of data, it actually tells you. So if you say form, uh, we don't have one here, but um, what have we got? Current date, current date. So we can see these these are date time pieces of data. So a date time control would pass in a piece of data like that. Uh, so we've got current date, current date, and time. Um, I can put both those in there if I wanted to, um, and then I put in this the syntax that I want to convert it to. So I might say um, m m m y y y y like that, and go create. Now once I've got that variable, then I can use it on the form. So I can say um, Put a label on and we'll go insert insert the variable we've got the other thing i could do is let's say i want to set the title to that same uh same value so i'm going to say generally uh, is true and rules if title is empty then uh, title value insert the variable there as well okay so i have forgot to set the full name set Value, value. There we go. Uh, create the rule. Now we'll go and publish, and I'll go back to my list here. Okay, clicking on new. It's okay there. Clicking on new. So there we go. Sep, uh, Sep twenty twenty, and also the labels are also showing Sep twenty twenty. Now I might just get rid of this. And what you could also do is come back to your variable, and uh, you can kind of change that um, that formatting uh, here and it'll update in the rule and it'll update in the label. So I might, I might say I want an extra M there and update that and go publish and then we can refresh and we can see September 2020 has come through and I mean you could take any sort of syntax I'm sure most people are familiar with the Excel style formatting uh, if you come as I said before if you come to format date you'll see there's a whole bunch of things in here. So this is just one example, DDMMYYYY. Um, I could put um, DD in here and update and publish. And come back to my form and refresh. I it's published in time. There you go, so we, so it's Wednesday here, so I haven't put enough, um, enough characters here. So I'm gonna put one more, update. And Publish. Let's see if it's gone and published for us. Yeah, so now Wed's, uh, when, well, Wed has come through. If I add one more, um, it will come through with the full uh, full name of the day. And then also what we could do is two Ds here as well. So we'll go update and publish. Let's see what happens here. And so there, so you've got your full date there as well. Now, uh, other things you could do is you could also have a date time control. So you could pass in the value of a date time control. So we've got a date time control. Um, select uh, date. And then we go back to our variable. And what we're going to do is pass in the, rather than the current date time, we might actually say um, select a date. So we'll pass in that control. And the same thing will happen. So when I go update and publish, when the form first loads, it won't have a date, so nothing's going to be triggered, the field won't be set, and the label won't have anything in there. Now if I select the 1st of September, then everything starts to populate. So that's how you can manipulate the dates with the format date function. I hope you found that useful. If there's something else you'd like to see, certainly let me know in the comments and I'll probably create some more videos. Cheers.